what is up guys welcome to today's tutorial and today i'm going to be continuing from the previous video in the last video i showed you how to make um this logo you know using um, basic tools basic field tool um the shaping tool and then applying some color and gradient to it and so moving on i'm going to be showing you today how to create this logo and particularly you know this v here using the gradient fill and afterwards um just as a bonus i'll show you how to make this and in case you want to use this you know to make a logo for your company or for yourself a brand just something simple using gradient fill tool also all right that's said let's get right into it um so um first of all i'll be showing you what we're going to do so you can see this v here is made up of um two curved kind of rectangle shape and you know slanted at an angle and the other one also slanted at rotated to an angle sorry and then there's a gradient fill applied to it in the last video um, i showed you how i made this v so we're going to be doing something similar to that all right so let's get right into it all right so the first thing you want to do is to um try a rectangle right and next up we are going to round this top right corner here and to do that and to do that with the object selected if you look over here uh, the property bar for this shape you see this option here now what this lets you do is to round each of the four corners of this rectangle so we're going to select you can see the here is the the left top corner the right top corner the bottom left corner and the bottom right corner so what we want to do is to curve the top right corner so to do that um if you see let's just put in a number so you can see how it works so if i put in 20 in here you can see that it's curved if i put in 20 at the bottom right you also see that the bottom right also is curved and i could do the same thing for here let me see you can see also it is curved and also for the top you can see that it is curved all right so but what we want to do is to just have just the top right corner you know curved so i'm going to just go in here and just impute the value 20. all right so we have 20 here and that looks good the next thing I want to do is to rotate this, you know, on its axis, you know, to the left. So we we'll come over here to set the angle of rotation. We're going to make it 35. So 35, that's good. And next, I want to, you know, make the other side of the V. And to do that, I don't need to draw another rectangle again. What I need to do is to just mirror this so it flips this um, rectangle that I've made you know, to the other side, to the right side. So what I want to do is to make a duplicate. So to make a duplicate, I press Ctrl and D on the keyboard. A duplicate is made. And how do I do that? I'm just going to show you something quickly. So, if you look over here on my right, opening this um, object um, menu here. Um, so, if you don't have this already on on your Corel Draw, you can go to I think Windows, um, Dockers, and then select Object. So, once it's checked, you should see it appear right here. So, what this does is shows you all the objects on the page. And you can know when you've duplicated or not so you can see right here i have 
just one uh, rectangle here which is this one that i've drawn here if i make a duplicate pressing ctrl d you can see that another one appears that means i've made a duplicate and that's how i know that it's duplicated all right so next thing i want to do is to mirror it over to the right hand side so with that duplicate object selected here i come to the property menu and then i mirror it horizontally to the right so now i have the object mirrored so if you watch the last video you see that i to make that view we had to align the base here to the base of this of the first one so let's do just that so we want it nicely lined Okay. I think I like how that looks. Okay. The next thing I want to do is to convert this shape to a curve so that I could take away you know, this excess over on the left and over on the right. If you watch the previous video, um, you see how I did that. So first of all, I want to convert this to a curve so I can right click on the object and convert to curve. And then go in my shape tool and I double click here and I delete this node you know, to take out that excess. And I did the same thing for the second rectangle. I convert it to a curve, right click on the object and convert it to curve. The next stuff, I take my shape tool and double click here at the center and delete this other node. All right. So that done, we have our logo already taken form. And next up, we want to now apply the gradient fill. So what we do is, let's just fill in a light color here and then a darker one here. You can see it has an outline. So let's take out the outline quickly. Right, so that done, let's apply a gradient. So what we want to do here is to apply a gradient, this being the light color from light to a darker shade. And for this other one, from a darker shade to a lighter shade of whatever color you choose to use. I'm just, in my case, it's a blue. So select the object. And then next one we want to do is to get our interactive filter and just drag from top down to bottom and I'm going to change this color to a darker shade of blue and the one that looks nice maybe something a bit more dark that's good and for the second one I did the same thing so dark to fill to top to bottom then I have changed this to a lighter shade of blue something like this all right uh, i think to make it uniform we just apply the same um, light blue we have here we use the eyedropper to pick good and change this to this so we'll have the colors being uniform all right so you can see we're done here you know with this you can use any color let's change it to um, orange a lighter shade of orange you can use a darker one here to a lighter one here it just works perfect all right so this is done then you can have you can put the other part of the name which is the venus and just use this orange you can change the font to something around it like this venus collections and 
Gut. Alright, so now we we'll have a second sample logo. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.